I'm Caitlin Tibnan with your latest Health Watch News Report. Today's topic is x-rays, specifically dental x-rays. And we spoke to Dr. Sydney Kadish of UMass Memorial Medical Center to find out just how safe x-rays are for you and how often you should be having them done. Is there any correlation between receiving an x-ray and an increased risk of cancer? It's well known that x-ray can induce malignancy. It's quite rare. It's rare um, in our work in radiation oncology that we have somebody who gets radiation and then they have a malignancy afterwards. There is sensitivity, however, in the, war in the field in general and radiology in general that we should try to reduce the amount of radiation that people get with diagnostic tests. Are there findings that suggest getting dental x-rays actually increases your risk of getting a tumor as well? Well, some dentists go ahead and they say, well, you have to have yearly bite wing x-rays because we're searching for um, cavities. And the ADA says, no, you're not supposed to do that. You're supposed to take x-rays if you need to take them to see something, but not to go trolling for, for trouble. X-rays should be taken to answer a specific question. As you know, in the hospital world, we use a lot of x-rays. In every, in every case, we should be thinking about, do we really need this x-ray? Is the benefit from the x-ray override the risk of x-ray exposure? And is there something specific with the dental x-rays that make them even a little more dangerous than an x-ray, say, of your leg or your foot. When you have a dental x-ray, the cone comes right next to your jaw. And I'm not even sure how much of the x-ray goes into cranial. For more health news, stay tuned to Health Watch, or you can check on chartertv3.com and click on the Health Watch page. I'm Caitlin Tivnan, stay healthy.